Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I'm comparing iconic Rolex sports watches, superseded models. What's the best superseded Rolex in modern time to collect? And I've got two classic pieces. I've gone for some slightly opposite ends um, of the of the, the colour chart as well as the uh, the, well, these are two different pieces. So let's have a look here. What do we got? What do we got? We got a Rolex Explorer 2. This is the 16570. This is one of the last versions of it before it went to 42 mil. So this is a 40 mil piece. It is the uh, white dial version, affectionately known as the Polar. And I'm comparing it to the last version. This is a never worn never worn uh, this is the Rolex Sea Dweller the last version of the Sea Dweller this is actually a V serial number which is last of the last of the last very very rare indeed so two very iconic classic Rolex sports watches so let's take a look firstly let's take a look at the Explorer 2 the Explorer 2 is a very iconic watch these originally came out in the early 70s uh, as a 1655 in the 80s when Rolex was converting over to sapphire crystal the Explorer itself there uh, became a 16550 which had three dial choices black white or cream cream being very very collectible in today's market and um, this here is one of the last before they converted over to 42 mil so they they largened it now this here is one of the last ones you can tell it's one of the last because it has the no holes case as well as the solid end link solid end link bracelet which is a big improvement the other ones can be a bit rattly rattly indeed it also has the flip lock clasp on the buckle there uh, if we have a look at the back there it's all fairly standard Rolex um, Rolex GMT function type watch there very similar case to the GMT similar crown and also it has the same type of movement this piece here however has the uh, fixed bezel the GMT had the turnable bezel whereas the Explorer 2 always had the metal fixed bezel it's funny how times change I remember reading in a Japanese magazine how to convert a vintage 1675 GMT into an Explorer 2 1655. How times have changed. Now the GMT is much more popular than the Explorer 2s. It's funny how the worm has turned. But uh, these are very, very lovely pieces. The last of the series is sort of, you know, they've got a certain charm to them indeed there, which is is just, just a beautiful piece, lovely lovely style lovely aesthetics I have chosen the white dial for today just to really show the difference emphasize the difference with the uh, sea dweller uh, the black dial versions are also very lovely it's a ch personal choice as to which one you go for uh, white itself there has started to become less popular the Panerai market white dials have been kind of terminal people don't like a white dial I don't know why that is the case but they don't uh, but I gotta tell you the Explorer 2 Polar very attractive very beautiful watch and very 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 sexy very sexy indeed so let's take a look at the next comparison which is the Sea Dweller now this is a very special Sea Dweller never worn stickers intact never worn at all so i've got to be very very careful with this piece here it still has the plastic bezel protector in place so that's how virginal this piece is here no cyclops on the sea dweller that's correct no cyclops on the pre-ceramic sea dweller and this piece here is just absolutely beautiful 
Sea Dwellers uh, have had the solid bracelet for a long time. And uh, as you can see here, of course, this is a no holes case. No holes case. It has the, um, the marked back there for the, uh, for the Sea Dweller. And it also has, it also has the, the Submariner type clasp, the flip lock clasp there for a, a tra for a dive suit. No, I was going to say track suit. No, this is not Chab City. This is for a divers. And you can see the helium escape valve on this piece. You can see the plastic stickers still on this piece here. So very, very, very charming indeed here. This is a very lovely original example you don't see many unmolested untouched versions of the sea dweller you don't see many of them at all like this this is very 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 schmicko very very honored to have uh, a look at this piece here today um so when you compare that these are two pieces which um they are no longer these are no longer made like this these they're not that old look at this these are you know these are pieces which are 10 years type span they were available 10 years ago which isn't that long ago um the collectability on them well i think the uh at the moment the explorer 2s are very soft but i i really do think they will continue to rise in price and the uh the rolex sea dweller itself they've had a few it uh, reiterations they went to the deep sea which was a 44 mil watch and then they had the 40 mil sea dweller ceramic and now they've got the 43 mil with the red writing on the dial so this piece here was quite a few versions ago the rolex has been very busy which of these two would be the better collectible which would be the better collectible well i tell you what i'd love to have both but um I think both of these pieces here are very, very collectible and uh, in the next 30 years time these will be quite valuable. Which one would be worth more? Probably, you know, I tell you what, if, if this Sea Dweller remains in unworn condition, it may have the edge there and being a dive watch at the moment, dive watches are slightly more collectible than GMT function watches. So it's a very interesting mix here. I wanted to show you the two. And um, you can certainly see the thicker case on the Sea Dweller. It is a thicker case. Um, it, is, it is a very, very lovely. These are two lovely sports Rolexes. Does it get any better? I mean, you, you have your Persoles, you have a Sea Dweller, and you have an Explorer 2, and you jump in your Porsche 911. That's right. Jump in your Porsche 911. That's the chic that's the fashion statement for these two pieces very very trendy very very hip very very happening very very wowzer 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 what two beautiful sporties we've got here two stunning sports watches and um if i had to choose one it uh it would be a hard choice be a very hard choice but these are very i think they're going to be very very collectible very beautiful very lovely. I'm Paul Pluter on the Archie Luxury channel. Tell me which one do you prefer? Archie Luxury signing out.